You guys want to watch this drive? It's going to be spectacular. I enjoy golf, and that's probably my favorite hobby. Uh, getting out there on the course on a nice day. I definitely hit the ball hard every time. I make that a goal. Consider that a straight shot. Oh, dude, you destroyed that. His golf game. It kind of brings out the funniest parts of Anthony because he loves, you know, having a good time. Oh, Daddy likes that one. But he's also extremely, overly, obnoxiously competitive. Nice. It's good for a 12-year-old. One second, he'll be, like, cracking jokes and having a great time. Ah! The next, he'll just be throwing one of his irons just because he hits a bad shot. If I miss this putt, this putter's going in the woods. It's so funny to see it, like that switch just flip back and forth over and over again throughout a round. Ah. Yeah. You see a video on Twitter and it's your star defensive tackle and he's tackling a tree. First team all Big Ten, Anthony Zettel. But it's going viral and you kind of laugh, but then you also are concerned. And we get to see him do all these ridiculous things that none of us would do and a lot of them, none of us are athletic enough to do. And he, you know, uses all those skills that he has to entertain us. <laughs> and he always said like he did his mixed martial arts stuff and I would just like roll my eyes or whatever and be like, yeah, okay. And then I walked into the gym and he was doing spinning back kicks and all these crazy things. It's really impressive. It's made my whole game completely 100% different. Being more patient, hand-eye coordination, muscle memory and everything that you need to be a good defense lineman. His personality, his sense of humor, his work ethic, his passion, he owns all those things. People gravitate to that and I think people appreciate that. For those who don't know, Anthony Zettel's father, after battling cancer, passed away Thursday. He has handled it exactly the way you would expect Anthony Zettel to handle it. He is a great reflection of his father. We were best friends. He was my escape route. He was like the guy that was going to mentor me, give me the best advice. The relationship between he and his dad and that dynamic was just so fun to watch. They had pretty similar personalities. When he was in the room, everybody knew he was either cracking jokes or he was leading everybody, and I would just, I would die to hear his voice again. Just to see a man that your whole life has been your hero go through the pain that my father went through, it's an awful feeling. He definitely loved football, he lived for it. It got him through a lot of uh, chemo sessions and a lot of pain, because he really would try anything possible to get to that next game. Am I right in assuming that Anthony Zettel is in Michigan today because of the passing of his father? No, you would not be correct about that. He's playing. I believe he is, yes. Wow. Playing that game, that's what he wanted. He's always told me, like, you only have a certain amount of chances, you know. We only have 12 games. It just made all of us so proud to see him go out there and play despite all the adversity, giving everything he had. Humphrey up the middle, Humphrey ripped down for a loss at the two yard line. Anthony Zettel. There was something special about that day that uh, I just knew he was there. It was the sense of like he was, when you have when someone's like watching you and I just, I just knew he was in a better place. Anthony Zettel recovered the ball. a part of him, I think, that has always wanted to really represent his father and his family really well, but now I do think he also has a sense of responsibility to be able to take care of his family and, and provide. Every good day, every bad day, Anthony's been just so positive and so engaged, and that's just been something that I know I wouldn't have the strength to do, and I don't think a lot of people would have the strength to do. Hey, you got to keep this train rolling. Let's go. Penn State on three. One, two, three. Penn State! This year's been tough, 
the team stuck together really well. That's the important thing is keeping those guys close, body to win games and working hard. Penn State is that team that everybody wants to beat. This game, it's the biggest game for us rivalry wise and it'll defy our season in a way. We're really looking forward to this one. Hey, hey, this is your house, baby. You understand me? You gotta take the thing over. It's your house, baby. It's your house. From start to finish, though. I need you to go as hard as you possibly can from start to finish. Ackerberg, straight drop, set. Long and deep far side. Godwin reaches out and got it at the five yard line. First and goal at the five. Barkley bounces to his right, far corner, got it. Touchdown, Penn State. The Nittany Lions are on the board first. Terps going no huddle, the handoff to Ross. Hills is going to keep it. Hills touchdown. in the end zone for the touchdown. Hagenberg walking deep far side, looking for Godwin. Fights, he's there, he's got it. Touchdown, Penn State. And each team answering one another. Hills in the gun. Back to pass, in trouble, and down he goes as Anthony Zettel will get credit for the sack. And now the pendulum swings back to Penn State. I'll tell you, momentum swings here on every play here between Maryland and Penn State. Been an unbelievable three-hour passion play. Reed takes the lead in this back and forth game, 31-27. Maryland's got to keep their momentum and their rhythm on offense and kind of just keep that going. So it's third down and goal. As the Nittany Lions defense tightening down. They've got to put this ball in the end zone. Back he goes. Pressure, a lot of time. Lobs over the middle for Brown. Almost intercepted by Haley. He would have been gone. This will be a 29-yard attempt. Braddock kicks it up and through, and it's a one-point game. You can't settle for field goals. That, to me, in my opinion, is a missed opportunity for Maryland to take a lead, and they just came up short. Now you ask your defense for a stop. It's Barkley up the middle. Barkley lowers the shoulder to the 40, battles out to the 42-yard line. Second and six, 2.54 to go. Here's the ball to Barkley. Stutter step, no gain to the 42. Third down and six. Clock at 2.10. With the big job they got to do now is stop Penn State this particular play. Hackenberg in the gun. Third and six, they need their own 48. Back to pass, delivers, deflected in the air, and incomplete. And the Terrapins will get the ball back and have one last shot. they have got the All-American kicker, the Luke Rosa winner. And that would be Brad Craddock waiting in the wings. He's got three field goals. First and 10, their own 25 with 121 to go. Mills takes the snap, back to pass. Waits, delivers over the middle, deflected, intercepted by Lee Golden at the 41-yard line of Maryland. And the Penn State defense comes up with the game's eighth takeaway. The Nittany Lion football team defeats Maryland 31-30 here in Baltimore today in a game that was tremendously entertaining, incredibly tense, and was a four-hour <laughs> passion play. <laughs> come together and win. Now we need to do that for the rest of the season. Let's go undefeated each week, boys. Let's go. Penn State on three. One, two, three. Penn State!